Hi everybody, this is Asika from the ITProjects.com. As always, I am back with a very useful tutorial. This is a getting started tutorial about Amazon Web Services. That is AWS IoT Core with ESP8266. In this tutorial, we will learn how you can connect the ESP8266 with AWS IoT Core and publish sensor reading to AWS MQTT. We will use the BME280 sensor for a demo and read the temperature, humidity, barometric pressure, altitude and dew point data. The ESP8266 will connect to the local Wi-Fi network and post the BME280 sensor data to AWS IoT Cloud. Not only posting data, but we can also receive the data from AWS dashboard. This tutorial is for beginners who want to learn about the Amazon AWS IoT Core for IoT applications. Earlier, we learned about IoT platforms like Google Firebase and Arduino IoT Cloud. But with AWS IoT Core, you can build and manage devices for commercial applications. The hardware required for this project is an ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. And for the sensor part, we will use the BME280 environmental sensor. Let's wire the BME280 sensor with the node MCU ESP8266. The connections are fairly simple. Start by connecting the VCC pin to the 3.3V output on the node MSU and connect GND to the ground pin. We use now the remaining SCL and STA pins for I2C communication. Connect the SCL pin to GPIO 05D1 and the STA pin to the GPIO 04D2 pin of the node MSU ESP8266 module respectively. You can use a breadboard for connection or simply use a male to female connector wire. But I prefer to order a custom PCB from PCBWay.com. PCBWay.com is a one-step solution for all your PCB needs like PCB prototyping, SMD stencils, PCB assembly, etc. Currently, they are offering 10 pieces of 2-layer PCB at just $5. So, get your first prototype PCB ready from PCBWay.com. The link is in the description below. Just click on the PCB Instant Cute tab. Then click on Quick Order PCV. Now upload your Gerber file and place your order. Getting started with AWS IoT Core is very simple. You just need to follow the following steps given below to successfully set up the ESP8266 board and start with your very first project. Basically, we need to set up the AWS account now. Therefore, create an account using the email ID and password. The account also requires your bank credit card information. There will be no charges but AWS just needs a verification using your bank account. It will also ask for phone number verification. Hence, the account will be successfully created. After successfully signing in, the AWS Management Console window will open. In the Services Source tab at the top right IoT Core and hit Enter. You can click on IoT Core so an AWS IoT dashboard will appear now. On the left side of the dashboard, there are so many options, but we need to work with two options here. One is the Manage option, and the other one is the Secure option. We need to create a thing associated with our project. For this, follow the following steps. Under the Manage option, click on Thing. Now, we need to create a thing here, so click on Create Things here. You can select whether create a single thing or create many things, but for our application, select Create a single thing, then click on Next. Here, we need to specify the thing properties. First, give a thing name. You can name it anything. For example, I will name it ESP8266BME280. Under additional configurations, there is no need to make any changes. Under the device shadow option, select the first option as no shadow, then click on next. Now, you need to configure the device certificate. So, here you can auto-generate a new certificate or use your own certificate or upload CSR or skip this. But the AWS recommendation is to select the auto-generate new certificate. Then click on next. Now, we need to attach a policy to the things we created. But no policies are here right now. So we need to create a policy first. So click on create policy. Here, give any name to the policy. For example, I will give it the name ESP8266 policy. Now, the aid statement part is very important. Under the action, type IoT. So multiple options will pop up. From here, we will only need to publish, subscribe, connect and receive. Now, click on create to create the policy. So the policy has been created successfully. Now, go back to create thing option. So a policy option will appear. We need to attach the policies to the certificate. So select the appear policy and click on create a thing. 
Now we need to download the required certificate from this list. First, download the device certificate and then rename it as a device certificate for identification. Also, download the public key and rename it as a public key. Then, download the private key and rename it as a private key. In the root CA certificates, there are two certificates here. But we just need a root CA1 certificate to download it as well. So, we have downloaded all the certificates that we need for our project. Installing necessary Arduino libraries. So first go to the library manager and search for JSON and install the library as shown in the figure below. Pop Shop Client Library. Again, go to the library manager and search for Pop Shop Client and install the library from Nick O'Leary. BME 280 Sensor Library. Search for Adafruit BME 280 and install the library as shown below. Lastly, install the Adafruit Unifier Sensor Library. The code or program that interfaces ESP8266 with BME280 sensor and connects to the Amazon AWS IoT core is written in Arduino ID. The code is divided into two sections. One is the source into file and the other is the header file. Now it's time to modify the Arduino sketch file. Go to secrets.h tab and begin the modification. Here we need to include a thing name. You can go to the Things section of AWS console and copy the thing name. Paste the thing name to the following line of code. Under the Wi-Fi SSID and password, enter the Wi-Fi SSID and password of your local network. Now, we need to insert the AWS IoT endpoint here. To get the endpoint, go to the setting parts of AWS dashboard. You will get the endpoint. Click on the copy icon to copy the endpoint. Go back to Arduino ID and paste it on the following line. You need to insert the Amazon root CA1 in between the following line. So for this, we need to go back to the certificate that we downloaded earlier. Open this file with Notepad++ and copy all the text. Then go back to Arduino ID and insert the copied text between begin certificate and the end certificate. Under the device certificate lines, we need to paste the device certificate text. So, upon the device certificate file that we downloaded earlier. And again, copy the text and paste it between the begin certificate and the end certificate section. Under the device private key, we need to insert the device private key. So, go to the downloaded folder again and open the device private key file using Notepad++. Again, copy the text and paste it between begin and end parts. So, all the modification of the Arduino ESP8266 sketch related to AWS IoT Core is done now. Once all the modification is done, connect the ESP8266 to your computer. Then, go to the tools and select ESP8266 board that you are using for this project. Also, select the COM port. Then, click on the upload option to upload the code to the ESP8266 board. Once the code uploading is done, open the serial monitor. The ESP8266 will try connecting to the Wi-Fi network. Once it gets connected to the Wi-Fi network, it will try connecting to the AWS IoT server. The temperature, humidity, barometric pressure, altitude and dew point value will appear on the serial monitor. The same thing should also be posted to the AWS server. To check that, go to the test section of AWS dashboard. Under the test section, we have an option for subscribing and publishing. Now, to see the data, you need to subscribe to a topic. For that type, ESP8266 slash pop under the topic filter section. In the additional configuration, you can make changes if you want. Then, click on subscribe. When you hit the subscribe button, immediately the data from ESP8266 will be uploaded to AWS dashboard. Thus, you have successfully sent the BME280 sensor data to Amazon AWS IoT Core using ESP8266. The data is updated here after an interval of every one second. Now, let's see if you are able to publish the data from AWS IoT Core to ESP8266 or not. To see the data, you need to publish a topic. For that, type ESP8266 slash sub. For that, type ESP8266 slash sub under the topic filter section. Then click on publish. Immediately, you can see the message sent to the serial monitor. This is how you can send and receive data from Amazon AWS IoT Core using ESP8266. I hope this tutorial was useful to you. So, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to this channel for more amazing content. It's me Asika signing off for today. Catch you on the next one. Thank you.